Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to a brand new game called Space Rogue. Explore, panic, fight. You take on the role of a spaceship captain. Explore new worlds and engage in intense ship-to-ship -ship battles. Develop your unique battle tactics, upgrade your ship, recruit new members as you fight for peace or piracy. Hmm, what does that sound like? What does that sound like? Faster than light, maybe? Uh, this game is very, very, very similar to Faster Than Light with some kind of different graphics and a different projection and it throws in a couple other random events, different random events that are really really cool and uh, some other really fun stuff too. The game is Early Access, came out on May 14th as his first Steam version and if you want to find out more information about it down below in the video description will give you uh, a bunch of links and other things to it. You can see up here it does keep track of your level and your space points, how far you got in the games I kind of failed on the first one and uh, had some other issues, well, I didn't complete the first one and then the second one I kind of failed fairly early into the game. It's difficult, but it, it's a little approachable with that tutorial, it's it's nice, kind of a nice uh, spin on the faster than light genre. So we're going to start a new game, we're going to do a new game, there is the custom games that you can pick a whole bunch of different things, your, your credit rewards and beam damage and everything you'd want to do. You make your galaxy bigger, all sorts of fun stuff. But I'm not going to do that. Uh oh. Well, I guess I am, because I can't back out of it. No, I can back out of it. There we go. And new game. So we're going to just start a new game. It's going to generate how we want to. Uh, Norg Renegade plans to use the ancient artifact to open a portal line, portal into dimensions supposedly inhabited by the precursors, a mighty and mysterious super species. Who knows what might happen after the portal opens. You must neutralize the artifact. Thankfully, it can be tracked by the special gravitational anomalies it generates. One of them has been detected not far away. So the whole point of this game is to basically get to the end, shut down the portal, and you win. Sort of like Faster Than Light where you get to the end, kill the bad guy, and you win. Um, and the map is slightly different. So this is the map. Uh, you can see it, it gives us the lines in between so we can go blonk, blonk, blonk. And I can't, oh, I can go directly to that. There's a little line there. Couldn't really see that. And then keep going all through. It doesn't seem to have a, somebody is catching up to you, so go as fast as you can while collecting as many things as you can. Also, it seems like the missiles and the fuel and the drones are not really um, counted like Faster Than Light does. And I'm comparing a lot to it. It's a different game, but there's a lot of similarities. So I know there'll be questions to be asked. So there are some things like the map here. The map, these are where we need to go. Um, you can see that was the first one. I think that might be the tutorial. I'm not quite sure what that does, or maybe that's where we go from this portal into the next zone. And then we can go all the way through these to get to the end Pandora's box and see what happens there. We take a look at our ship. We have a beautiful looking ship here, don't we? Uh, we have our four characters on here. This is our warrior, that is his class. They get their own warriors based on their race. And then we have two humans that are engineers. And then this guy is our captain, Yosef Swift, Yosef. So we're gonna put him in the captain's chambers. We can put our different guys in the weapons and the shields. I don't think they boost it like uh, Faster Than Light does if you have someone in there, because you can see their stats are repair, breach repair, firefighter, movement speed. Um, this guy's got damage, he's melee fighter. So that's what he really wants to do. Up at the top we have our hit bar, we also have our uh, shield line. These are the different systems that can be online. They're all green so they're all online, we can collapse and open that up. Over here is our credits and this is the Tritanium. Tritanium is the agent that you use to level up your, um, upgrade your different systems in your ship. So it takes five Tritanium to do the first level and you get that through mining of planets. So it's kind of like uh, Mass Effect two and three, two, where you, you mine the different planets by sending probes down. It's kind of the same, feels a little bit like that, a little bit easier. It's a fun little mini game. Our ship is the FR Alamo, a Federation frigate, not too powerful, but well balanced, but a well balanced vessel. Our hull, we can see all of our stats there. Our crew, we have the four people and they can get upgraded by getting the XP for uh, winning a fight. We have our different systems and then the cargo. Cargo is these things down here. We can actually just pull them out and plop them in how we see fit. So I'm gonna keep these down here for now and we'll go from there. Uh, we also start with a teleporter and 
Our ship doesn't seem to be upgradable, like you don't buy new systems. You might be able to. It seems more of your, you buy these things. So it's kind of cool, uh, different spin on things, and it's it's been a lot of fun. So let's get going. We're going to jump around. Jump, and I guess we'll go here into Zabos. All right. You receive a message from the local sector administration. A group of prisoners has escaped from a federal prison, killing a guard and stealing a ship. We don't want to cause panic. We think the crew like yours could solve a little problem. Okay, we'll accept that. A stolen ship is equipped with a tracking device. It's headed here. And by the way, don't worry too much about tra taking them alive. Get the route information. Okay, and then that will be show up on this map. So it's taking them there. We have to go to that point to kill the bad guys. And we can get to there eventually. So let's go to the meteor storm at this place. Aha! To celebrate the opening of a new space outpost, the WYC Corporation has organized a free instant lottery. You got a lucky ticket. Claim your winnings. Huh, 38 credits. Thanks, I guess. There are other ones that are basically like, uh, you just lost a crew member immediately. Uh, your course takes you through a nebula. The scanner reports that he has detected an unknown ship not far away. It isn't responding to hails. Approach it. The ship looks dead. Its systems are offline. The hull gapes with several breaches. Send a boarding party? You detect that the mines have been placed on the ship. You barely avoid falling into the trap. Make a quick getaway just as it explodes. Hee <laughs> And we got a little hull damage. Alright. Jump in. And we can go to Ather. It's got a little uh, harmful radiation. A robot ship intercepts you. Our scans indicate that they are... They... Have our enslaved mechanical brothers aboard. Is this true? Respond. Uh, okay, of course not. Glory to the robots. Perhaps you speak the truth, meatbag. We'll just kill you just in case. Okay. Alright. We have battle stations active right away. Hmm, a little bit different. We do have harmful radiation. Uh, may cause fire on board. We can't vent open doors either to uh, vent fire out, but that's alright. We have the cam over here. We can switch back and forth into different ships. And this is theirs here. So we can click on like missiles. We can also click on the small lasers. Or we can send in a teleporter after 25 seconds to kind of uh, irritate them a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my missiles, fire it at there, and then keep the, the pew pew small laser and fire it in their shield bay. We'll see what happens here. Uh, focus fire. Increase the damage dealt. Yeah, we'll do that to that room. I just... Actually, let's just do that. Yep, that'll work. Alright. So they use stealth. Stealth is one of their tactics down here. And that makes them a little harder to hit. We can mouse over that. Uh, increases their dodging attacks for 70% 70, 70 for 10 seconds. We switch back. We're going to see our guys get raided by their attacks. They don't have missiles, so that's good. And it looks like we did actually hit, even though they are stealthed. Must have hit with the uh, missile, because it damaged their weapons bay. Took down their shield, slightly. Shields are now offline. Missiles are loading in. Please hit. Missed it. Oh wait, we haven't hit yet. Auto is here. We can turn the auto fire on. Hey, we did hit. Good. Ah, shield system is offline. Let's switch back and get someone to repair it in there. We already do, which is awesome. Send you in too. And I'll switch back and watch them get blown up. Cause splam. You're dead. Nice. Hit the shield. Didn't totally take it offline. Ah, hit it again. Perfect. So it seems like we can kind of do damage to them. Uh, we can kind of get a a missile blast in, a laser blast in, and the amount of time, yes, perfect, took it down. Ooh, robots to transfer you some kind of message. It's a bribe offer. Yeah, take the bribe. 21 credits. Okay, 31 credits and 19 XP. And we do have XP. This, oh, we got fire. <laughs> we better get our dodge. Let's jump while the fire's on board. Let's go to Cletus. You detect a ship. It looks like a trading vessel. It shows no signs of life and seems to have been abandoned. Scan it. The ship suddenly comes to life. Its battle systems are in full working order and aimed at you. Great. That's amazing. 
And we still have fire on board. Okay, what are these things? I don't know. Let's kill them. Let's, let's kill them dead. Let's hit them with that. Hit them with that. Let's uh, do extra damage on there. Okay. Psionic shock. What's that do? 35 damage to a player's crew members in the selected bay. Ow. Ha ha! Get your missiles hit. Hurry up. Ooh, that's cute. They got missiles. I do not like missiles. I'm gonna keep all of the damage on this thing. Oh, they don't even have shields. Pew! Medical station's broken. It's not good. It's probably from the fire. My guy's doing okay in there. Ah, they're fixing it. Take out their weapons. Shields are down. Keep at it. Good shields are hit again. And if this missile hits, they blow up. Sorry, guys. Hope that this wasn't for nothing, Chip. Check the ship's wreckage. Ooh, small laser and first aid. Continue. Good. And now we get the Tritanium. Let's check that out. Let's let our shield get back online. Put you back here. Put you back down here. Tritanium. This is the mining. I don't remember if we did this already. Oh, an unexpected magnetic anomaly at the drone's landing site corrupts its AI and crashes. The scanner informs you that the anomaly is too powerful, there's no point in risking any more drones. So we lost our credits. <laughs> well, I'm not going to do it again if it's bad. Difficulty is uh, 8. It has a very high chance of an event. Okay. Too much. We'll not do that. Ooh, what is that? Military base power. Hmm. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's see. If I go down... And over and up. I can do that. Yep. We'll try to get as many of these as we can. Scan the sector reveals a derelict ship. It was most likely a merchant ship that came into under attack by pirates. It shows no sign of life. Scan it. And it came back to battle. Okay. I'll battle another ship. It'll do the same thing. Attack here. Capu and Capu. Ow. Let's use Piercer. Causes one hull breach in the player's ship bay. Where is it going to reach there? Oh, it missed. Good miss. Weapons are down. You know what I can do? Let's switch back and just hit that with our repair thing. Excellent. Keep you guys spread out a little bit in the important sectors. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, it missed. Well, it had hit the, the shields. Okay. That's not good. Come on, hit it, hit it quick. Thank you. And we could launch someone over. I don't really want to do that yet. Ow. Oh, they hit hard and another breach. E. Okay. Switch back. Please blow up there. Please. Thank you. Keep hitting it. Come on. Let's do this. Hit it hard. Hit it real hard. Good. <laughs> they keep launching stuff. Oh, he's dying. Get out of there, dude. Perfect. I should maybe go after the shields? I don't know. Because it doesn't seem like this laser does much. Let's use piercer. Hit our thing again. Heal that up. Excellent. So that's kind of one of the cool things of this game, is it does have uh, different interesting skills. And I forgot to do the other shield. Or the other uh, laser. Good. We got it. Good job. Hope this wasn't for nothing. Check the wreckage. Norg Engineer has joined the crew. Sweet, man. Yosef Swift is ready for level up. Oh, dude. Our dude's leveled. Awesome. All right, crew. Level up. Boink. Great. Level up. Boink. Boink. And I should actually show you what they're doing. Uh, when you level up, they get a little more skills. Um, so like you, 0 XP for level up. And we have 1, and then 10, 20, and 9. So if I level you up, you got another 2 health, or 19 health, 2 damage, plus 1 firefighting, a little bit of repair, and a little bit of breach repair. So that's cool. And then we have our systems. We also have our cargo. A small laser. I can't really do much with that, but the first aid 
He owes all crew members in the selected bay for 50 points. That's kind of nice if we were boarding a lot. And then we have the small laser. I think that's exactly what this is. Yes, it is. So, uh, we could we could mess with that if we had another, but we don't have another weapon slot available. Let's jump on out, continue going, and let's go to Lavis here. Find yourself in an unusual, or usual busy cosmic route. Scanners find Tritanium on the planet nearby. Start mining. Let's do it. Good. Load it up. Give me that Tritanium. We gotta get our ship bigger. Come on. Yes, we do it. Alright, so it's a difficulty 6. It's a large planet, and we have four drill bits there. We also have the unstable Tritanium. The object is to get the Tritanium and then level up the ship with it. So I can try got two from that. We could try a blue one. Useless rocks. That's cute. Unstable Tritanium. Oh, no. And where do we want to go? Let's go to that yellow one. One. So we found three. We'll collect that and leave. We do have six now, which allows us to uh, level up our system. So we could do... I don't know. Let's do the shields. Wait, let's do the weapons. Okay. So max slot is still that. I think the next level, nope, still can't do it. Oh well, we should have done the the shield thing. Anyway, we'll jump again, since we got everything out of that. Let's go to this military base. I have not played one of these yet, or seen what happens here. Oh, we can buy and sell stuff. Haha, we can also repair. Partial repair, full repair, six. I think that's backwards. Yep, that's backwards. Got to report that to the devs, too. Boink. All right, perfect. Those are up. We can also hire in more guys. This is another warrior, dude. No, it's not. There's some warriors. There's a warrior. We could get them. We can also get one of these weapons. We could sell some of the stuff that we had, too. Let's check it out. What do you do? Kinetic? Hmm. Three damage per shot, two shots, ten second cooldown. What do we have there? Five second cooldown. How about our missile? Fifteen second. Okay. Ah, so that's what it is. It's got a cooldown of fifteen seconds, but it has five shots until it needs to reload. It's kind of cool. What are these? Small swarm pod. Small projectile launcher. First shoot. First shot hits the targeted bay. Others hit in random bays. That's kind of cool. I kind of want to buy one. Tell you what, let's sell the small laser, because we already have one. And what was the cooldown on this thing? Uh, 10 seconds. What's this one? Beam? Prototype blaster. Yeah. I think I'll just... I don't know what's good yet. I haven't played the game enough. I'll just leave it. Military base power. And jump. Alright. Let's go to Zaihi. You meet a merchant vessel. The scanner shows that it's equipped with surprisingly powerful weapon systems. Suddenly, they all activate and target your ship. Great. That's amazing. Let's check out what they got over here. Oh, they don't have any oxygen. They have shields. Let's do that. Ow. Let's hit their shields first. Okay, shields are down. Hit their missiles. That didn't do much. And they broke our engine. Hopefully our warrior back there will fix it up. Ow. Hit their missiles. Good. Their weapon system. It's not really missiles, is it? Take it out. Great. It worked. Oh, they're trying to flee. Good thing we exploded them first. They had been better off flying by. Mm hmm Good. All right. Are you repaired here, brother? Can't quite tell. No way to see. I'm gonna heal you up. Why don't you come down here? You come up here. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's got a little damage in there too. Get you some health. Let's go. And let's complete that quest that we we're gonna do. Kill the dudes and the escape you ship. <laughs> Discover it is Drifting slowly and not responding to hails. It looks as if it's been abandoned for a long time. This looks very suspicious. Scan it. 
The ship unexpectedly hails you. One of the escapists turns out to be an infamous pirate. He offers a generous bribe if you escort the crew to the nearest planet. I'm green. The runaways come aboard and successfully fake the destruction of their ship. But on the way to the planet, it tries to spark a mutiny on your ship. Uh-oh. We got a hand-to-hand -hand combat. So there's, they're back here. Uh, looks like we have a lot of guys, though. Can I mass select everyone? Oh, this will be good. What are they going to do? Where are they going? Oh. Trying to attack that thing. That works. Um, okay. Silly infamous pirate. Doesn't understand how to be a pirate. He can't pirate a pirate. It's broken. Gather the loot. Continue. Ooh. And we got to level up. Sweetness. Let's do that. Level up. Bloink. Nice. And now let, let us... Ooh, event high chance. Yeah, that's what I like. Wait, a high chance of an event. That's maybe not what I like. Hey, we didn't get one. Okay, uh, let's click that one. Ah, trap and lost 15. Useless rock. Useless rocks. Useless rock. Hey, we got this drill for reuse, though. Let's try that one. Treasure with 15 credits in it. So we broke even. That's cute. <sighs> now what? You go back in here, you go over here, you go down here, you go in here. Nice. Maybe you go down here. Let's jump off again. Up to this one? We got two more here. And the exit. Yeah, let's start mining. Let's try it. I know it's a very hard chance, but it's a difficulty of one. So we might be able to snag some goodies out of here. I don't want treasure. Oh, we got one. That's awesome. <sighs> okay, I'm bringing you in this one. In case we want to port over at a point. Come on up. You spend the night in a cozy planetary settlement. On returning to your ship, you notice there's several figures near it. They're robbers! They board a small ship and take off. Try to catch up. Thieves' ship is too fast, but the navigation computer thinks he can recalculate its most likely route. Okay. Let's see where they go. Way back there. <laughs> I'm I'm all about this. Well, hello. Manage to ca Oh, let's threaten. Okay, we'll fight. Oh, that's a cute little ship, isn't it? Psionic attack. Okay, we can heal that up. They don't have anyone? Did they board us? No. Interesting. They don't even have shields. What? Okay, I'm going over. I'm going to board them. I want to see what happens if we board them. Ooh. Maybe not. Maybe not a good idea in a meteor storm. They'll be dead here in a second. What? Did they seriously just shoot? I think they did. What are you doing back here? Ah, they got what they deserved. Okay. We're getting hit by meteors. Let's get out of here. Jump. Jump, jive, and whale. We'll go to the hyperspace beacon and head on to the next zone. See what happens here. Woohoo! Successfully have reached the navigational buoy, which shows the route to the next sector. Let's jump! Whee! And that is where I'm going to end this episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, we got got quite a bit left. Maybe. We'll have to see how it goes. But thank you for watching. Keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.